so I'm going to make uh, beef broccoli. Okay. Uh, these are my ingredients. Okay. Total casserole seasoning, and I guess it goes good with this uh, uh, garlic and herb thing. And I soak my meat to become tender for about an hour or so. Uh, preferably uh, buttermilk, but I'm using regular milk. Anyway, broccoli and oyster sauce, okay? I'm missing the soy sauce. We called here show you. But anywho, okay, we'll see my masterpiece. I can cook it in a crock pot, but hey, I hate waiting, so I'm going to cook it on a stovetop. Okay. Hey, these are my ingredients, like I said. Okay. It's called Aloha Shoyu. Okay. Let's rock and roll. So I'm uh, cooking the meat. Don't let it cook the meat. We're gonna let it sit for 45 minutes, okay? All up safe, y'all. So hey, y'all, here's an update. It's a little bit seared. We're gonna cover this so it'll cook evenly, okay? Okay. Okay, y'all, so here's an update. I'm letting it sit. It's simmering. I want the meat to be juicy and tender. Okay, so um, the way they cut the meat, uh, I should have cut it, you know, thinly, but I didn't because I didn't have the time. So this is a beef stew cut, uh, it's optional, no, you can buy this and cut it, cut it thinly or not. This time I did it because I have no time, okay, no time. Okay, the basics of all basics of ingredient, onion, garlic, we're going to use garlic powder because I don't have garlic cloves again. We're gonna stir that all in. Okay. Okay. So, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, okay. The total casserole seasoning. Okay. If you could only smell the aroma, yep, it's smelling wonderful right now. Okay, we're going to give that a stir. Okay, so it's been up to 45 minutes, up to an hour. I tasted the meat. It's tender, it's soft. Now we are ready to add the broccoli. Guess what? This called for uh, soy sauce, but guess what? I'm not gonna put any soy sauce because it tastes just like it, just like you, you get it when you get it at, a, at the Chinese restaurant, okay? So we're yeah. gonna mix it up, mix this up like we're stir frying it. Okay. Some of the broccolis are a little bit big, but it's okay. They're gonna shrink once they're cooked. So like I said, this recipe called for soy sauce or aloe shoyu, whatever soy sauce you want to use, but we're not going to use the soy sauce because 
it tastes just like it is. Um, I guess the oyster sauce and a combination of uh, the milk that I uh, marinated on is good enough. And it gives that, uh, that texture that kind of like when you whisk a cornstarch texture. So we're going to let this sit until the broccoli cooks. Now, adding bell pepper is optional, but I guess uh, I'll add bell pepper because that's my boyfriend's request. Right, Mike? Yes. So, we're going to cover it up. So, there we go. Beef broccoli. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now we're gonna destroy the recipe. Cause we're gonna put, what, you like it raw or you like it cooked with this? Just a few, don't put them in. There you go. Okay, orange bell pepper for his request. There we go. Okay, y'all. Ciao. Bon appetit. Mm-hmm. Delicious looking, ain't it? Okay. Ciao.